We were ready for the impact with the earth. We hit the earth just like a car crash, like we expected. And then there was enough wind that we rolled up on our side. Tom looked out his window, and there was earth. I mean, dirt and grass, where, the, where space had been just moments before. Uh, and as soon as the search and rescue people started opening up to hatch, and the air of the earth started coming in, we could smell the prairie. We, we could smell the Kazakh steppe, and it smelled of um, wind in the grass. It's very confusing for my body right now uh, for a couple different reasons. Number one, of course, is just gravity. Without the constant pull down of gravity, your body gets a whole new normal. And my body was quite happy living in space without gravity, a very um, uh, empowering environment where you can touch the wall and do somersaults, where you can move a refrigerator around with your fingertips and, and never worrying about which way was up. Well, all that suddenly changed when our Soyuz slammed back into the Earth, and my body is, is, uh, is catching up with the change. And so the symptoms are uh, dizziness. Your inner ear and your eyes are telling you different things. So I have dizziness. Um, also, my body is not really remembered very well how to get the blood back up to my head. And so underneath my clothing, I've been wearing a, a G-suit, to, to sort of like holding the bottom of a balloon to squeeze the blood up into my head. Um, and I haven't held my head up for five months. And so my neck is sore and my back is sore. You know, it's just, it, uh, it feels like I, I played a hard game of rugby yesterday, or, but it's, it's getting better measurably by the hour. So if you want to get a good detailed picture of something, you need a long lens. Of all of your tweets, photo and videos, what is your favorite and why? Each of them was, was posted or tweeted for a reason. Uh, some of them were just comic. You see something down on the earth, like like the island off of Turkey, that looks like an exclamation mark. It's just it's just so funny to see something on the surface of the earth, or that river in Brazil that looks just like the big S on Superman's chest. It's just you look at the earth, and suddenly there's Superman's chest sitting in in Brazil. It, it just makes you laugh. I feel like I've uh, stumbled across something whenever I spotted one of those with the lens, and I, and I was really looking forward to sharing it with people on Earth. But but actually, I think. The picture that I'm most proud of is probably not the one that is going to end up in anybody's gallery or anybody else's favorite. But early on in the mission, I was up there right before sunset. And uh, I was looking at the horizon. And the sun uh, over the Indian Ocean was reflecting off the upper atmosphere. And suddenly, for the first time in my life, I could see a phenomenon that I'd only read about. And I had thought only super scientists could even see. We call them noctilucent clouds. They're clouds way up in the very outer fringes of the Earth's atmosphere, and they're almost always invisible. But they are key in helping to understand uh, global climate change. And there they were in front of me, and a few of them turned out so crystal clear. Not only did they look like, like a stained glass, um, delicate, pastel-colored painting, but they also reveal how our planet works and a lot of the, the key processes that keep us healthy as a species. And it was all there in a photograph that I didn't even think I was qualified to take.